We've all heard these different phrases, uh, these different axioms from the Hermetic philosophy, like as above, so below, as within, so without, as the universe, so the soul. But what does that even mean? What is the astral plane? How do I reach it? What is an inner sanctum? What is a celestial sanctum? What did Christ mean when he said, behold, the kingdom of heaven is within you? How do we create that sacred space within ourselves to commune with the divine? If you have these sorts of questions dancing around in your brain and are trying to unlock their meanings, then rock with me a minute as we take the journey within. What's up, guys? It's Justin. Welcome back to the Mystical Mind State. So when we talk about creating the sacred space within, what we're actually talking about is visualizing a place within ourselves that we can meditate and commune with God. Now, all of that sounds really, really difficult, but in my last video, I uh, lined out how to move beyond mindfulness by uh, using each of your senses as a way to achieve single point of concentration. Because it's relevant to this video, I'm going to paraphrase and kind of run you through it very quickly once again. Uh, to, to visualize and really practice visualization, when you go out somewhere, uh, look at it, get a good picture of it in your mind and close your eyes and recreate that image in your mind and keep doing this until you can recall it in your mind's eye with perfect clarity. Then you move on to the sense of smell. Like uh, I was in Lake Catherine State Park in uh, Arkansas, right? And they had pine there. So it's a really, really distinct odor, one that I happen to adore. So what I did is I closed my eyes and I breathed in the smell of pine, concentrating on only it until I became in union with that smell the same way I would if I was following the breath or the same way I would if I was visualizing one of the names of God or aspects of God and then there's a sense of hearing right you can literally just tune in on anything around you like I'm out in nature right now there's there's bugs I can close my eyes and just focus on those sounds right eating is another place you can really break down the flavor profile of the food and how it feels on your tongue and uh, if you're lucky you'll start seeing glimpses into the life of this particular fruit or vegetable or whatever it is you're eating sometimes animals but the reason we do that is because we can recall those moments with perfect clarity later someone call it euphoric recall mystically speaking this is really the framework that we need for visualizing the sacred space within us. What I would recommend is, is doing this practice for several months and really, really getting good at visualization and creating images and places that you've been all the way down to the smell, all the way down to the, the sounds that were in the air. Like, can you put yourself on a beach where you can feel the sand beneath you, hear the crashing of the waves, smell the salt water, and hear the seagulls, you know? Some of us can. With enough practice, anyone can. But the reason that's important is because the kingdom of heaven is within you. We have an entire universe inside of us. All we have to do is still our minds and create these spaces within to unlock the ancient mysteries. What I did was create a temple at the heart chakra, the heart of the rose. And I, I built it along the, the six-point star, the Star of David, right? The mathematical precision just resonates with me. And inside this temple, there is a, a green flame burning on an altar. Uh, I could give you the, the Hebrew and all that, but it'll just bog your mind down, and it's not really relevant. What is important here is I created this sacred space within my heart where I would go and I would meditate and that is how I meditate to this day now as your understanding grows some other lessons will become relevant so you'll start to learn that there are different energy centers in your body that have different temples there are different visualization techniques that go into each of these and you can start to peer beyond the realm of senses altogether and that's what I really want to get to, but in order to do that, I need to bring people up to speed and tell them how to recreate some of the steps that I have taken. So what does sacred space mean to you? What, what, what is holy ground to you? What 
places have you felt most in tune with the order of reality, the divine nature with with God? Like where where do you feel most grounded? Is it a church? Is it a mosque? Is it a temple? Is it nature? Obviously mine is nature. I spend a lot of time out here walking around and reading, praying and meditating on trees and things of that nature. But this is a personalized journey, so what I do in my daily spiritual practice really isn't relevant to someone else. Only the technique matters at that point. So ask yourselves those questions. Ask yourself where you feel most in tune and spend time there. Recreate that image. Practice the visualization techniques until you can recall that space within you. And once you're at that point, you're really, really ready to start meditating and praying from that space within you. Microcosm, macrocosm. As within, so without. As the universe, so the soul. All of those old uh, axioms from the Hermetic philosophy will start making a lot more sense. All right, that's all I got, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Peace be with you all.